There are so many different types of drawer liner, but like, why does that actually matter? Well, each drawer liner serves a specific purpose. Let's say that you want to line your kitchen cabinets. What liner are you going to use? There are so many options that it could be really overwhelming. So I am breaking down the different types of liners that I like using in my kitchen, how I use them, and some tips and tricks for using those liners inside your kitchen. Hey there, I'm Jessica, the Organized Mama. I'm a family organizing expert that helps you with organizing tips, tricks, and tutorials the entire family can do. I found shelf liners to be incredibly useful to keeping your drawers organized. Why? Well, not only do they provide a beautiful aesthetic, but they also help keep anything inside your drawer from sliding all over the place. Seriously, that's why I love using drawer liners, especially in drawers and on shelves. But with so many options out there, how do you know which one is going to be right for you? So I have some questions that I need you to ask yourself before you go purchasing any shelf liner. Ask, what is the point of the shelf liner in the drawer or on the shelf? What I mean by that is, are you looking to have a shelf liner in your drawer so that the bins or organizers don't slide around? What about your Tupperware? Maybe you have plastic baggies or reusable baggies in a drawer that kind of go all over the place. What if you just want your drawer to have something pretty to look at on the inside? Does your drawer or cabinet need a little bit of love? Would you like to give it some pizzazz without spending the money on redoing your entire kitchen? What about just creating function or giving yourself a buffer in case anything spills or there's water? All of those are amazing questions to ask when deciding on which shelf liner. In this video, I'm going to be talking about four different shelf liners. The first one we're going to cover is the Solid Grip, and this is Easy Liner with Clorox. The reason why I love this one is because it is mold and mildew resistant. So this liner is amazing for any sort of food type of drawer or cabinet because of the mold or mildew resistant material in this liner. I like using this shelf liner in spice drawers because again, it's a type of food type item. The Clear Classic Liner, I love this one, especially if you have wire shelves, it is great for creating that smooth top on the wire shelves so that you don't have to worry about at food, bowls, plates, anything like that getting all wobbly on those shelves. It basically is like a piece of wood over it, but it's a liner. The fabric top liner is very decorative. That's why I love it. It also has like a thick cushion. It's great for storing things like plates, glasses, bowls, because they don't really slide around that much if they're on a cabinet, but you're still providing a buffer between just the solid wood and the plate or bowl or cup that you're using. And then the fourth liner that I'm going to talk about is the adhesive liner. The adhesive liner is the sticky liner that you put inside your cabinet or drawer. I love using these liners for giving any drawer, drawer or cabinet that needs some love just a new feel. You can line the backing of the cabinet, you can line the shelves, and it completely transforms the entire space. And you're doing it all on a budget because the liner in itself is inexpensive. Okay, we're gonna break it down even more. Are you ready to line your cabinets with me? Let's go. I store all of our Tupperware in a drawer and I have used the clear classic liner, you can hear it, to keep all of the Tupperware nice and organized. And look at this, things aren't sliding all over the place when I open and close the drawer because the clear classic liner helps the items from sliding around. So I like using the Clear Classic, especially for glass type items. Now, the reason why I've used this is when these items come out of the dishwasher, sometimes there might be a little water residue. Yes, I will dry it off, 
but I want to make sure that I'm protecting the wood inside the drawer along with letting the items air dry. So by using the liner as a protective sheet in between the wood drawer and the actual item that might have water on it, I'm giving my drawers the longevity to stay and look brand new. This drawer has all of our cups and water bottles and all of that kind of stuff. So I used the Clorox Solid Grip Liner in this drawer. You can see I open and close the drawer and none of the glasses move at all. So the Solid Grip Liner is amazing inside this drawer so that my glasses, the water bottles, and any other drinking accessory we may have stays organized regardless of how aggressively the drawer is opened. My bowls are also in a drawer and inside this drawer we have also used the Clorox Solid Grip Liner. The reason why, again, sometimes things come out of the dishwasher and regardless of how much I dry them, they might still be a little wet or there could be water residue that I don't even realize. So by using the drawer liner to protect the drawer and the bowls, nothing is going to slide around and I also don't have to worry about water residue on the bowls. I'm gonna walk you through how to line a drawer that already has, you know, some drawer dividers and things in it. First thing we're gonna do is going to shock you. Take everything out. Next step, we're going to clean this. Now we get to line the drawer. Because this drawer really doesn't like have a lot of stuff to move around, my I can use any of the three non-adhesive options. That is the Clorox Solid Grip, the Clear, or the Fabric Top. This is now going to be a personal preference because I don't need to really focus on keeping things from moving around just because the drawer insert is so big. So because of that, I've used the Clorox uh, Solid Grip and that is what I'm gonna use inside this drawer. So I have cutting tutorials that you can follow where you're watching this video. So I now, because There we go. So set it down and then I'm going to roll it to the side where I'm going to fold it over like this. And I'm going to cut it right on the fold. Remove the excess. Now, this is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to fold this over again, really like score it so I see where it goes. There we go. Okay, so you may be asking yourself like, if that doesn't move, then why are you even bothering with the liner? Well, I have a couple of reasons. The first reason is even though it doesn't move, sometimes, especially with drawer organizers that are expandable, sometimes they do fluctuate and move. Yes, it might not be open and closed, but it might be going back and forth between the width. So by using a liner like the Clorox Solid Grip, I am able to ensure that it actually stays in place. Another reason why is let's say I'm putting away any of the dishes or silverware back in here and there is some water. Again, I'm protecting the wood of the drawer. It allows the drawer to stay clean and you protect the drawer longer. I mean, have you ever been into a house where you open up a drawer and you see water spots and the wood starts to get all kind of like bowy. 
Well, that's what happens when you don't protect the drawer. And so since we redid our kitchen, I want to make sure that all of our drawers stay in perfect condition for as long as they possibly can have them. So now that I line the drawer, it's time to put everything back into the drawer. There we go. Now, yes, everything stays in place and I also don't have to worry about this funky edge because I was having so much pro so many problems with it um, because the old way that I had it stored in the drawer, things were not staying in place, going back and forth instead of staying in place. So, so now it's not going to move and then we are good. Another great use of the drawer with the easy liner is using it for your pots and pans. This way you can lay your pots and pans and you don't get all of the clinging and clanging going around with the pots and pans. Also, if you don't have enough space, putting your lids on easy liner, that way they aren't sliding all over the drawer. It is a great and easy tip to keep those lids from clanging around. So we have covered the Clorox liner and how to use that inside your drawer. We've also covered the clear and how you can use those on wire shelves and inside your drawer. But what about the fabric top? And what about the adhesive liner? How are we going to use those? Well, let me show you. I like using fabric top liners in drawers where you need a little more cushion. So think china cabinets, drawers that hold those, you know, fancy dishes, serving platters. Um, I use them for all of our, um, you know, napkins and in that kind of an area. I love using the fabric top because it has some cushion, because it also is grippy. You don't have to worry about serving platters or anything sliding all over the place. So using the fabric top on areas where you need a little more padding. Again, the platters, the plates, the china, wine glasses, um, any of those areas that you store those special items, I strongly recommend the fabric top or any sort of liner that is a little thicker with a little more padding. Then I really recommend using the adhesive liner to update any of your cabinets that might need a little extra love. You can put it on the back like I did here with this pattern. You can wrap it around your shelves, put it on the bottom of each shelf. No matter what you do, using the adhesive liner is going to create an entirely different space inside your cabinets because the liner is so decorative. You can just get solid colors, patterns, marble, brick, wood, you name it, the Duck Brand Easy Liner has any sort of pattern that is perfect for you in your cabinets. Love what you see? Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Wednesday.